So as you can see, I like to use pegboards to hold all my tools in my shop. Um, it's a great way to save space. Everything's up and on the wall. I don't have to put them in big toolbox drawers. Second, I like to be able to see everything. Um, visually, I can say, oh yeah, I need that tool. I need that tool. I'm just grab it. And third is the speed. I don't have to open up every drawer and say, where is it? I can just see it, grab it, and I'm good to go. Um, now, the way I put things on the, on the pegboard is normally I'll just use hooks to hook things on there. I can also use these Harbor Freight bar magnets, which are a couple bucks. They're great for a lot of small tools that are metal, and you can just stick them on there in any order. You don't have to have a specific hook. And the third thing is a custom-made wood hook or rack where I'll store things. And I do that for my screwdrivers, my pliers, wrenches, some other tools where I'll make a custom wooden rack and they'll sit in there. So recently at Harbor Freight for six bucks, I bought a bunch of these hand uh, socket uh, drivers. And I was gonna use this bar magnet, just stick them on there like that. I didn't really like how it looked. They kept rolling around, they weren't very organized. So I decided to make a custom rack for these, like I have for a lot of my other tools. And Looking through my scraps of wood, I found some old, I think it's mahogany, drawer slides. These were for some old drawers that would slide on there. I just measured out the spacing, drilled holes, two holes on the back for the pegboard hooks, and labels on the front. I rounded everything over. It took less than 20 minutes. And now I don't have to worry about putting something back correctly. I can see exactly what tool it is. I can see what size because I've written on it. Oh, there's. 10 millimeter right there. It will always be in the same place. So something quick like that just takes a few minutes. So when people say they're working in their shop, it seems like a lot of time uh, you're spent organizing and putting tools away and making sure everything's where you can find it. Um, so something quick like this is really nice to have. So for many years when I come down, when I needed the right size tool, oh, there's 10 millimeter. I can see it's labeled and it goes right back where it should be. So yeah, I've done this for a whole bunch of my other tools. I've used wood, I've used PVC, anything works, just something that you get used to and you know that's where I'm gonna put it back every time. That's a big thing, it's putting it back in the same place so when you need it, you know exactly where it is. So uh, this is just something quick I did one day and I'm like, maybe I should talk about how I organize all my stuff. It's really saved me a lot of time. So let me know what you think, thanks. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.